Hey everyone, it's time for good old back traps and good old biceps. And I start off with the rack pulls. I wasn't able to lift as heavy as I have been. I was doing 3 of 15, 4 sets, 12 to 15, and just didn't feel, feel the weight um, today. And just as I just feel like I'm still recovering from the last week's workout, um, I don't know if it was just because I was traveling and trying to just recover off of that. And you know, it just threw everything off, but my joints and my muscles just feel like they're aching um, this week. So I was able to just do my 12 to 15, and then I got into T-bar rows um, just to help out with the thickness of the back and just be able to do 10 to 12 reps, um, you know, three sets. And then I move into drop setting as well uh, within this particular movement. Uh, like I said before, if you want to try to build up the thickness of your back, you want to do a lot of rows. If you want to build up the width, you do like lat pull downs, pull ups, um, things that are pulling down. That's going to help out lengthen that back, um, the width. And so, as you see, I'm just doing some drop sets. Um, I wasn't able to lift as heavy. I'm just trying to listen to my body and not just overdo it. Uh, so I think that's a misconception is that it's not one particular day that defines what your progression is. It's just being able to be instinctive in a way um, just to help out with not getting like injury and just helping with recovery as well um, before you start lifting that particular muscle group again. So on to the next. So move right into lat pull downs and I'm just getting about three rounds like I superset this with standing curls. I typically got about 10 to 12 reps within this movement and I just do a round robin style and I just make sure I get a full stretch at the top and then full squeeze at the bottom and just to help out with the width of the back and you know generally I like to superset whenever you do supersets, tri-sets, bi-sets um, within your, your exercise routine by the time you got done with your last exercise you can move on to your first exercise and able to just feel like you properly recovered that's why I don't necessarily count reps per se as I get deeper and deeper into a superset or triset. It's just about how much can I push my body, um, you know, without breaking proper form within the movement um, to make sure that I'm maximizing my efforts with volume. And that's what I really focus on when it comes down to hypertrophy work or just a lot of, you know, blood flow within those particular muscle groups that I'm working for the day. So on to the next. So this is my next exercise. I'm just doing some rack chins with a 45 on my chest. And this is something that you know I've done before. I saw this exercise done a long time ago by Lane Norton and Tommy Jeffers back in the day on bodybuilding.com and just to help out with thickness of the back. So it's a different type of row. Um, it's not particularly just, um, you know, like a pull-up, but it's just, I feel it so much more in like the rhomboids and in the rear delts, those muscle groups. So then I move right into hammer strength, shrugs, and for some reason in this first attempt, I just felt like I pinched something in my neck. So I don't know if I got full range of motion. Um, I probably should have stopped, uh, but I just kept pushing forward. Uh, within this within this movement um, It did start to loosen up as I got deeper and deeper into my workout So might have just been a, a little spasm and then I go into t-bar or well, actually go into seated rope Rows and I like using the rope just because you get to get full extension full contraction um, at the bottom of the movement and So just to help out with that thickness. I feel like my width when I do lat spread is, is a powerful movement in the front especially but I feel like I need to build up that thickness so that's why I'm really focusing on rows um, different types of approaches to make sure that I can build up that thickness throughout the whole back I'm going to move into good old cable curls and they must have put some WD-40 in there because it was a smooth, a smooth movement uh, this time around uh, but this is the last exercise I'm showing um, it's all about volume, it's all about 
supersetting, combining different exercises to hit those particular muscle groups. Uh, but if you have any comments, suggestions, please go leave them in the comments below and I'll, I'll definitely address them. I'll definitely try it out. Uh, but thanks for t tuning in and I'll see you guys later.